Hello everyone and welcome to today's math lesson with Everyday Seminar. Again, we're going to go over through the solution to our last lesson's problem. A roulette wheel has the numbers 1 through 36 as well as 0 and 00. If you bet $1 that an odd number comes up, you win or lose $1 according to whether or not that event occurs. If random variable x denotes your net gain, x equals 1 with probability 18 over 38. So your chance of winning $1 plus $1, 18 over 38, and x equals negative 1, you lose $1, the probability is 20 over 38. Okay. Notice that this is 20, that's 18, because here, the 20, you have the 0, 0, and the 0. Okay. So what is the expected value of winning or losing? Now, the first thing we do is we find the expected value. So we have x, we have 1 there, showing this one, multiplied by the probability, that times that, and minus 1 here, take away 1, multiplied by 20 over 38, and then we get negative 0 0.053. Notice it's a negative, so most likely we will lose 5 cents for each game. Okay. On average, the casino wins and the player loses 5 cents per game. Now, the casino rakes in even more money if the stakes are higher. So here, instead of $1 per game, we have $10. So your chance of winning, $10, 18 over 38. The chances of losing $10, 20 over 38. So most likely the expected value, E over X or EV, is uh, you lose 50 cents. If the game is $10 per game, the casino wins on average 53 cents per game. And if 10,000 games are played in a night, that's $5,300 for the casino to win. Okay. So today's topic with Everyday Seminar is on vectors. And today we're going to be going through the basics or the introduction to vectors. Okay, here's some nice little pictures I've gotten from the internet. Today's key terms, vectors, directed line segment, scalars, magnitude, uh, direction, and geometrically. Okay. So the definition of a vector. A vector is defined to be a directed line segment. Okay, so basically it has direction and magnitude. It may be named by a bold-faced lowercase letter or by the two points forming it the initial point and the terminal point. So some vectors are written with just a letter in bold, like there, U, here, and sometimes we use AB or AB with a line on top of it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so the length or distance of the vector represents the magnitude, and the arrow indicates the direction of the vector. Now two vectors are equal if they have the same direction and the same magnitude. Now look at these uh, four uh, vectors right here. Blue and orange vectors have the same magnitude but different direction. So that one's pointing that way, that's pointing down, but the length of the arrows are the same. Blue and green vectors have the same direction but different magnitude. So the blue and the green arrow are pointing in the same direction, but this one is shorter than that one, that one's longer. Blue and purple vectors have the same magnitude and, diff and, and direction, so they are equal. So blue and purple are exactly the same in length and in direction, both pointing that way. Okay, okay so here we have some more keywords. Uh, we have what's called the initial point. This is where the vector starts. And here, this is a, what do you call, axis, on the axis, these are the points where it's located, the coordinates. Uh, x1 and y1, and x2, y2 is a terminal point. It's the end of the vector. Okay, and here's a magnitude or the length, okay, and the direction is the angle from here to there. So we can find the direction. Is this all looking familiar for each application? You can make a right triangle and use trigonometry to get the angle. So basically, you can rule a line down here, you can get a right angle like that, and then you can measure the length. Okay, we'll be doing that later. Initial point, terminal point, and the direction is in the degrees here. Okay, and the magnitude or the length. Let's move on. 
Okay, so again, equal vectors. Two vectors are equal if they have the same magnitude, okay, and distance and direction. So they're both pointing the same way, same length. So we can say that u is equal to vector AB. Now we have something called opposite vectors. Opposite vectors have the same magnitude but opposite direction. So that's pointing that way and that's pointing that way, even though they have the same magnitude. So in other words, the terminal point of the terminal point of one is the initial point of the other. Okay? And it also may refer to the negative form of a vector. So say that's u and this becomes negative u. When you change the direction, you put a negative sign. Let's move on. The resultant vector, for a, especially when we're doing addition, when vectors are added or subtracted, the sums or differences are called resultant vectors. Now have a look at this vector um, AB and the other one CD. So when we add vector AB plus CD, AB, we take a CD. Here the initial point goes on the terminal point of AB. So you just put them together and then you get the resultant vector here. And this resultant vector is AD, okay? A to D. Geometrically, we have added vectors by placing the initial point of the second vector over here at the terminal point of the first vector. First vector, second vector. The resultant vector has the initial point of vector 1 and the terminal point of the displaced vector 2. So the end of vector 2, the beginning of uh, vector 1, where we get AD. Let's move on. Now, the resultant vector in subtraction or subtracting, we subtract a vector the algebraic way by adding the opposite. So here, look at this example. AB minus CD equals AB plus negative CD, which is equal to AD. So have a look at what we do here. CD, so we have line CD. Okay, notice that's the initial point. Initial point comes first, CD. Now negative CD. All we do here is just change the direction. Instead of pointing that way, it points that way. Then we call it negative CD. Now, what we're going to do here, AB, take away CD. So we have AB here, take away CD. So what we do is we just make, instead of CD there, just make it a negative CD, change the direction, and then we add. So we can add that plus the red one, and then we get the new resultant vector of AD. Okay, C here, D there. Okay, so all you do is just change the direction of the second vector, which in this case is CD. Another word we need to be familiar with is a scalar, or scalars. A number multiplied in front of a vector is called a scalar. It means to take the vector and add together that many times. So imagine we have V like this. 3v would just be 1, 2, 3, all in the same direction. Okay, let's move on. So here we have some examples. Using the vectors shown, find the following. So we have uh, u, the red uh, vector, v, purple or blue, and w, the green one, green vector. So here u plus v, you take u there, then you add v going that way, and then you get this resultant vector. The next one, u take away v. So we have u, and then for v, see the, in, well, the negative sign? So we've changed directions. Instead of v pointing that way, we have v pointing this way, and that purple uh, vector right there, that's the resultant vector. Here, 2u plus 3w plus v. So we have u, 2, 2v's, two plus 3w's, 1, 2, 3. And then plus V again, at the end of that one, we add V that way. And this in purple is our resultant vector. And finally, we have negative 3W. All we do is change the direction of the W there, becomes there. And 3 multiplied by 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So today's quiz, subtract the vector V from the vector U. Very simple. And uh, notice that there's a piece of graph, graph paper at the back. So it should help if you have these little blocks here to measure the distances. Notice that u is 1, 2, and 1 up. 
V is one, two, three across and one, two down. Okay, we'll go through the solution next week. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you had a good time.